Hey everyone, welcome to Wicked Tarantulas here with Felicia today. So you're probably wondering what are you looking at right now? Well, I haven't seen anybody do this and because I love to create things and crafting is one of my major hobbies and tarantulas are also a hobby. It's awesome when I can combine both of these hobbies into one. So what did I do? I went to Dollar Tree because I'm always looking to make something just because it's who I am whether it be for a child's party an animal myself home decor whatever so these are actually terrarium planters and I may actually go back and buy a few more although I think there are only two left after I was done and I might actually try to find the plants that are in the habitats for some of my species and actually try to replicate at least one of the plants and hope they don't kill it again but anyways so these were only a dollar each. They're actually really thick. They have one major opening. Then they have a second little opening, which I'm assuming that's for spraying water in, technically. So what I did is when I went to the store, I purchased a lot of flowers with a lot of green on it. I cannot find any ivy anywhere. And yes, I said ivy this time, not ivory. Ivory is completely different from ivy. So, I had to deal with what I want, what I had. I went to, I think, a total of $6 stores well within my area and out of my area. So, I came home, I ripped everything apart, and I got my hot glue out. I used about a whole bag of hot glue. And I just started applying hot glue to everything. So, the bottom is, you know, not covered with leaves, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some substrate in here. And for two of my arboreal species, I am actually going to attach enough wiring to make sure it's stable and it can hold it. I'm going to wrap it through the top of the enclosure because it's uh, the door is open from the front, but there's more than plenty of ventilation through the top. So I'm going to weave this through there probably like four times and weave it through the screen over the frame of it and I'm going to attach it. And I'll get to you when I get that done. But this is a little cool idea. These are my little hanging hammocks or hanging hides. So hopefully they utilize them. If not, it'll be all right. Still gave me something to do. All righty. So we do have the new hanging enclosure up there. There's some substrate in it. I misted it slightly. It is anchored to the top around the frame. Comes back down, frame is locked. I did rearrange the exhibit slightly. For those who know me well, they know I am obsessed with sticks, and this tarantula in particular had a lot of sticks. So I still kind of kept it the same way. I still have all the mesh netting for him to climb. I still have all of the sticks intertwined, a lot of leaves. And then I still, I just moved the ivy over a little bit so I can kind of center his new little tarantula hammock. Cleaned it up. Got the old man in there. Let him come out when he's ready. Don't want to stress him out. He is an old guy. He's been doing really, really well. He has been eating for me like a champ. His strength is back. He's not looking as ragged as he was, meaning, you know, looking as lethargic. He's moving again. He's eating. He's drinking. He's doing everything he should. He's actually taking food down on his own now. So, what do you guys think about hanging enclosures in an enclosure? I think it's pretty cool. Um, especially it's something that I've made so to me that means a lot because I did it especially for you buddy on little foot so yes I spoil my tarantulas to the best of my ability and my budget and I think this works out pretty well I'm probably going to end up I don't know if I'm gonna give Goliath one I wish she would molt already her pre molt is so heavy she's starting to slow down she's not moving as much and she's not eating anymore, so hopefully she don't take 92 days or 96 days it was for my other Afonopoma Simani to molt. But if she does, it's okay. I can't wait to see her new fresh markings. So I might apply this idea, idea to several other arboreal species of mine. Although there's a couple of them I can't do because they're slings and they're in extremely tiny enclosures. And I'm thinking about making them ones that just set in the corners of the height of the enclosure that way they have something something to hide in I mean Goliath seems to like her setup a lot 
So that's always a plus. I don't know if I'm going to really do one in here because he does not use the hide I have right there. And he's climbing right now. What are you doing there, Mr. Curls? What are you doing to the screen? He's always climbing. But he likes his enclosure the way it is. I raised some of this up so that way he can go under it because I noticed he struggled to get under it. He actually ripped that plant down so my adhesive didn't work. So what I did is I took some mesh netting. I wrapped it around the top of the base and I took it over the other side, glued a suction cup, and it's been up ever since then. This is my other Fonopalma Simani. He never really likes to come out, but when he does, he can give me some wicked takedowns. And then, and here's my other Brachiopalma Blossom. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Always hiding. And usually always in front of my face. Yeah, so this one, right there, I see legs. Always moving around. You can see by the marking and the beddings. So yeah. This one has a lot of stuff in it. I have some extra sticks and I'm going to put them into her hide because I have a hanging enclosure for her as well. Because if you look at her, her web, you can clearly see that like she's not rebuilding it and detached. Yeah, it's like completely open right here. I'm sorry. I won't mess with you. She's right there. She didn't like the fact that I touched her home. So yeah, I'm going to probably end up putting one hanging here and then see if she'll use that because she has been coming up and out and over here. So I'm going to see if she'll like one as well. And, but if not, I do have a plethora more of sticks that I will add into her enclosure. I just don't understand why she's not rebuilding the web. What are you doing in there, my girl? You want to come out so we can see you? She's still got a long time to live. She's never let her web get like that. So I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's just being lazy. Because she doesn't have to hunt. Because I'll feed her. Or she doesn't have to hunt. My OBT is in this enclosure. And I see booty. Oh. You guys see the little orange reddish booty? I see it. And then in here is my horn baboon. And I finally found some pinhead crickets and this guy or gal got it within seconds of me putting it in. But of course, I didn't catch it on camera. This little guy, he'll eat cricket legs for me. I, I put a pinhead in there, but it unfortunately died, so I got it out. I'm not trying to mess with this OBT too much because Little Psycho is a perfect name. Then in here, you have my carabina with a really large rump. Sometimes when I pick the enclosure up and I move it like so, she'll come down. I think it's because she, hopeful wishing, that I'm going to feed her when in reality she's fat enough. She's a very healthy sling, very, very healthy. And in this corner is my juvenile of Fonopalma Simani. And this one, I had to actually bust into the burrow to feed it because the burrow started, the entrance was here and it ran around to here and up through here. Well, somebody packed it and there's no other entrance. So because how I set it up, I knew that there was an opening right in there, like I could open it. So I forcefully opened it, threw a cricket in there, I actually threw it in three in total and yep, took it down so I won't have to feed this one for a while. But yes, don't be afraid to bust into your burrowing species hides. I know it's pretty tricky if it's an old world, but this is a new world and this one's pretty calm. But it will not hesitate to give me threat posture. I have probably received more threat postures from this tarantula alone versus any of my other tarantulas. Now my other male of Onopama Simani, he's crazy. But he doesn't give me threat posture as quick as this one does. He just likes, he runs around like crazy. Now, Goliath, my uh, fully matured Afona Palmasimani, now she's such a sweetheart. I've had her out her cage in my bathroom. She's just so, so docile. But no, I do not hold her. All right, everybody. Sorry about the watermarks. 
So let me know what you think. You let you blah 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 blah. Let me know what you think about these hanging enclosures. Is this something you would do? Have you seen anybody else do it? Not really sure. Just give me your opinion, your thoughts. Leave it down in the comments below, and I will get back to you. I have not been on YouTube as much lately because I have had a very hectic and very, very full schedule. So if I have not got to your video, I will. Remember, if you're not subscribed to me, please do so. Don't forget to turn on your notification bells, like or dislike, whichever you choose. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day.